Hey guys, David Lynn, board certified dermatologist. You want to know more about high flu or high intensity focus ultrasound and you want to know the differences between the Ultraformer MPT and an older technology called Altherapy or Altherapy. So just as a disclosure, I have these devices, both the older Altherapy device and the newer Ultraforma MPT. So in this video, I'll go through the key differences. So the first difference is technology as in the date of manufacture. So when you look at Alt Therapy, this is an older device. I think it was first conceived around 2008 and entered the US market around 2009. So when you Google search what happens in 2008, you'll see like we were carrying BlackBerry phones then. Um, how many BlackBerry phones now? But the device is still in use but there are some software changes. So the device itself, when it comes to alt therapy, you're using 1.5, 3, and 4.5 mils for the face. So that limits your um, uh, depth of penetration. And like I said, this device is still good. I'm not saying it's bad, it's still good, but times have moved and um, fast forward a decade and a half, we got a newer device which also gives you a range of depths. When you look at the range of depths, this is very important because um, with the Ultraforma MPT, you've got the 1.5, the 2, the 3, and the 4.5 mils of which to treat your face. This is super important because when you're looking at dermal layers of skin, anything more than 1.5 to 2, you're in the subcutaneous layer. When we measure the thickness of the dermis, especially around the perioral area, most of the time we're around 1.9 to about 2.2. So if you deliver shots at 1.5, you're within the dermis. If you deliver shots at three millimeters over here, you're into your subcutaneous tissue. And why is this important? Because when you're using alt therapy, if you're using it at three mils, chances are around this area, you're into your fat. Which brings me to the next point, the denial of fat destruction or melting fat from certain companies. Now, when you look at statements by Mertz, which is Alt Therapy, over the years, you'll see many statements saying that Alt Therapy, high food itself, does not melt fat. But as most plastic surgeons and dermatologists will tell you, it does. So in fact, most of us use Alt Therapy to decrease areas of fat, unwanted fat, for example, in your nasal labial folds, your superior and your inferior gel fat pads, your superficial fat pads, which are very different from treating your deep fat pads. Now, our therapy stands is that it does not melt fat. We know it does. The flip side, Ultraforma MPT, their stance basically is it melts fat. It has to melt fat because HIFU is an awesome treatment to treat unwanted fat, especially focal fat. So with their guidelines and their new system, it's actually designed to treat excess fat. It's designed to debulk key areas. So once again, guys, it's key areas of superficial fat. So when we're talking about superficial fat, you're looking at accumulation over time in areas where you don't want. For example, the lower face, and I talked about the jowl fat pads and the nasolabial fat pads. These are subcutaneous areas, in other words, superficial areas. It's very different from treating things like your buccal fat pad, your buccal fat pad, or your deep fat pad, which we don't want to actually reduce in volume because as one ages, the deep fat pad deflates. Your superficial fat pads act totally differently because what happens over time is that the superficial fat pads, they migrate, they become totic and they migrate downwards in the fibroceptal elements, which in other words, the stocking that keeps your fat, the superficial fat pads in check and in, in a compact area becomes lax. And as a result, you get this accumulation of fat. So on label, Ultraforma MPT, facial contouring, facial shaping, importantly, facial shaping, and the focal, not global. So guys, understand this, it's the intended focal and precise ablation or reduction of key superficial fat pads is what we want for facial contouring. It's not the generalized um, atrophy that you get when we want to decrease or debulk your entire subcutaneous fat. Which brings me to patient selection. So you'll have a lot of patients saying, it melted my fat. Well, if you think if someone's got low volume, the question is, is it the device itself or is it the indication of how the device was used. So for patients who come to see me in their 30s and their 40s with low facial volume, thin skin, thin areas of subcutaneous tissue, do I advocate alt therapy? Do I advocate ultraformal MPT? The answer is no. 
Because if someone's thin and you tighten the skin, what can happen is that the perception that it can actually reduce fat itself. So if you're using it in superficial treatments like 1.5 and you're in the dermis, it doesn't melt fat because you're not that deep in, but go deeper than 1.5, it could. So guys, it's the actual intent of use and the application according to the patient, which is super important. The other difference with MPT is that it's, as the name suggests, it's got MPT, which is your micro pulse technology. So instead of delivering lines, which are basically um, intermittent lines with high energy focused ultrasound going deep into the dermis or subcutaneous tissue with gaps in between, the MPT delivers what's known as a linear array. So in other words, a line that's continuous without the breaks. And with this continuous line, it basically increases the bulk heating to the tissue. And with the increased heat in linear areas, in other words, in lines, that is where the fat destruction comes in handy. So with the MPT that can do that at 2.5 times faster than the previous model. So it's much, much quicker than all therapy. And as a result, if it's much quicker than all therapy, the pain is markedly reduced. So pain for the patient is markedly reduced because it's faster. And then the operator itself or the technicians who's performing the procedure, they complete the task in two, two and a half times quicker compared to the older systems, which means your neck ache, your back ache, and all the other agronomic, um, I guess, uh, nuances which come with delivering HIFU is markedly diminished. So guys, those are the key differences between your Ultraforma MPT in your old therapy. So at the end of the day, these are all devices and you need to actually understand the patient and see whether you use HIFU, is it collagen stimulating injectables, is it surgery, is it Elacor microcoring, what is it, is it RF microneedling that you can use in that patient to contour them. So it's application of a particular device pertaining to the clinical features you see in the patient that is super important. For some patients, it's as simple as debulking fat in key areas. In other patients, it's a whole heap of different things, including replacement of your deeper fat pads, your improvement of your skin quality using lasers, your use, use of collagen stimulating injectables, and in some cases when laxity is too far gone, it's a surgical approach. Guys, thanks for watching.